we've been doing a lot about the type of stuff you put in your bodies, chemicals that we're putting in, high fructose corn syrup is in everything. We can't have sugar anymore. You have to drink corn when you're having soda. <laughs> uh, and a lot about the chemicals that we eat. And uh, I saw this great list of all these crazy, crazy chemicals that we're putting in our body with things that we eat. Let's look at a couple of them. So this is dimethyl polysiloxane. Wow. How, how was that? That was good. pretty good. You pretty guys good. feel good about that? It is a chemical used in silicon, which is found in silly putty and breast implants. Uh, it's also used as a filler ingredient in chicken nuggets, Chick-fil-A sandwiches, McDonald's fries, Taco Bell cinnamon twists, and Diet Coke, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, and Fanta sodas. And this sort of reminds me of the pink slime story that we've done that everybody yeah. knows about. And now McDonald's says they don't use pink slime, and they even put that video out about their chicken nuggets, and they show you how there's no pink slime, but it, it's, it's, it's just gray dark. slime. It's, yeah. still, it's still pretty disgusting. So actually, before we move on to the others, uh, this stuff in particular, I know that a lot of the commenters are going to say, it's been proven that it's fine as long as you don't eat it constantly all the time. But nonetheless, right. do, do you like the idea of putting that stuff in your body? I uh, think that we are eating that stuff constantly too, which is you can't even make that argument because most of America is consuming all those things at such a high, high yeah. level. I mean, I don't know how you look at that list of you know, Chick-fil-A sandwiches and a Dr. Pepper and think that there isn't chemicals right. in those. Like, I don't think anybody's being like, I'm oh, really? I, thought it was I don't even really eat or drink anything on that list. No, like, you're I not a Taco Bell I, guy? I feel like you're too Not with cinnamon Taco Bell. twist. Oh, not, <laughs> not the cinnamon twist. I love, I have my occasional Taco Bell. They're not, there's not so many of them in New York, so I don't have it nearly as much as when I lived here, but ah. anything on that list, I almost never have. Yeah. It's bad news. So, so, all, so all the people. I'm who, sure I pick it up somewhere else. Yeah, yeah right. But, yeah. Right, when you're eating in a yoga mat. Yeah, right. right. um, but so all the people that will comment below and say, well, you guys don't understand science. We've proven that these chemicals are okay, even in higher doses than you think. You think either way, it's, uh, we shouldn't be eating it regardless, right? I mean, look, the fast food lobby and the soda lobby are, you know, they'll, they can convince you that any chemicals are fine. Mm -hmm. I think that those, chem those chemicals are terrible. I mean, I would advocate that everybody, you know, eats natural foods that comes from farms nearby them, and I mean, that's sort of, you know, as you can tell from my sweater, that's <laughs> the lifestyle that I, I try to live, but, um, you, you know. You off-the-grid punk. I know, that's <laughs> what I should do. I should, you should bring me in to be an off-the-gridder, kind of. <laughs> the off-the-grid correspondent. Yeah. yeah, now obviously everyone can't do exactly what Brent is saying for financial reasons. I want to throw that out there, because every time we say that, people yeah. start going crazy about that, and that's totally legit. Okay, let's look at a couple others. We've got L-cysteine, which is used to improve the texture of commercial dough for many breads and other baked goods. The source is derived from dissolved human hair, mostly from China, of course, or duck feathers. I mean, how, oh my God. The, the next one's even worse, but, but how do they even come up with that? How did someone think we are going to take human hair and dissolve it and then make it into a chemical that we're gonna use in our, who? Is yeah. this just mad science? It sounds like it. I mean, how do you, did someone like burn their hair? And it fell into and the, the dough. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and the dough was better, and they right. were like, oh. Like, I didn't have time to get the hair out of the dough, but this tastes amazing. Yeah, and if we don't have enough human hair, let's use some of those duck feathers right. that right. we have. And isn't that funny? You go to a restaurant, if there's a hair in your soup, or freak you out. freak out, yeah, we don't have a problem. If it's dissolved and you don't see it, not a problem. And now, uh, the third one, and this may be the winner, Castorium, which is also known as beaver anal gland juice. Just take a moment and let that seep in, <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, it, is, it is natural flavoring, which basically means it's What's anything. Natural? Yeah, what is natural? As long as it comes from nature and it isn't created in a lab. So technically this is natural, this is not a chemical. Uh, castorium comes from a beaver's anal gland and is used as a natural flavoring in foods and beverages like ice cream, <laughs> typically as vanilla, strawberry, or raspberry. Trayvon, I feel you know about this because before we started the show, you immediately yeah, said the raspberry I, thing. I saw that online because I love raspberry iced tea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I should never drink. Who was eating a beaver's ass yeah. <laughs> and discovered and it this like, tastes yeah. like vanilla, a little bit like raspberry? Right. Like, I gotta tell someone about got, this. Right. <laughs> we are missing out. Right, it's on the a second guy that's curious. So, okay, maybe somebody ate a beaver's ass and was <laughs> like, oh, this is pretty good. I want to. But then he thought, I'm gonna tell somebody about <laughs> right. this, I guess is the weird part. I just part. don't know how we have enough beavers in America <laughs> anymore. I mean, I understand during sort of the how Hudson does, project, how we do, have. How do you get them to sit still? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, <laughs> a le that's legit. They're pretty, like, 
crazy angry animals, <laughs> yeah, right. I think. Just like, sit still long enough to rub an ice cream cone on the butt. <laughs> and then take I mean, really, though, what the fuck? What, what is, is this? Why are we doing this? What, you know, look, I get it. Not everyone can do the farm table thing. Not everyone even has a Trader Joe's, and I'm sure Trader Joe's uses some of this stuff, but, but I'm just saying not everybody has access to something a little more decent. Right. But how did this happen? How did it, because we do this more in America. A lot of the stuff that we put in our food here is banned in, in the EU oh, yeah, yeah. and many other places. What is it about American culture? Well, I think, and I'm gonna go back to the point about you know, just trying to eat sort of a better lifestyle. Instead of just saying, you know, oh, people can't afford that stuff. I mean, you look at, you need to look at the bigger problem in America, which is that you have these, you know, vast food deserts where people don't have access to, um, you know, fruits and vegetables, and people are surviving off bodegas with the spicy Cheetos and 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 soda like that. So, I mean, there's a bigger problem at hand that really, as a country, we need to refocus on the foods that people are eating because otherwise, you're going to continue to get these kind of chemicals that are going to be forced in. I mean, yeah. the percentage of how much, uh, you know, high fructose corn syrup is in every single Everything. thing that we eat is just crazy and then you look at who is controlling that lobby and who's growing corn and you know it yeah. starts to become pretty clear that there's a you know there's a vast corn conspiracy that's happening in this country <laughs> isn't making people you know sick so it's I not think. a vast right-wing conspiracy it's a, it's a vast conspiracy. corn conspiracy and beaver anal gland and conspiracy beaver, <laughs> and beaver. <laughs> the beaver lobby <laughs> are you going to still drink your raspberry tea i mean after um, we i mean we're talking about yeah, this you now yeah, you, you I, I've probably had a few since I've seen that. I mean, like, it's hard to give up. I think it's a, I think it's a liberty thing for Americans because it's just like the soda thing in New York where people are like, right. you know, if it's my right to drink a 55 ounce soda if I want to, or like the people who get mad at Michelle Obama for just saying, telling your kids to eat better or eat vegetables sometimes. Yeah. Like, the government. how dare you tell me to eat good food? Like, I want, if I want to eat butter fried steaks, yeah. I'm going to eat, but like, yeah. yeah. Or cigarettes, that, which are full of sure, chemicals exactly. like that, that like, don't stop anybody. It's How, like they they are so hung up on their freedom being uh, taken away that they don't realize the message is actually good. Like, right, and which, which which amendment is it that you have the freedom to have beaver anal gland? It's like is that six. The six. Is that uh, six? What's the sixth again? <laughs> I think that's the beaver gland. I think that's, uh, that's, I think that's the, the beaver gland one. Um, all right, final thought on this: How long, if we took a caveman mm -hmm. and we brought him here today and we fed him our stuff? Does he last two days? Does he die literally uh, in two days? I mean, to his to his benefit, there are those CrossFit people who are on the caveman they're on, diet. They're so on the paleo diet. He could yeah. probably find a, a good, but yeah, he would die immediately. Yeah, I mean, does this just explain why we have all these crazy diseases, and then we take all these crazy pills that give us other diseases, and then we take other pills to mask the other thing? Yeah, but it's let's all, also be honest. The caveman's life expectancy was probably 17 years old at that point, so I think he'd be pretty. He'd be he okay. He looked good at the end. <laughs> he, he looked. looked yeah, he did look good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we should try it out. So, how long you think? What do you think? Two I, days, three days? Oh, I think yeah, I think he's got like a, a week at least. A but week. he's going to be excited for that week, man. Oh, yeah. Bouncing gonna, off the walls. He's going to have animal style fries. He's going to have the, <laughs> the works. He's going to have a beaver just in his right. hand. Yeah. Beaver on a stick. <laughs> <laughs>